Not to be confused with the Cabinet Committee on Security of India, the Cabinet Committee on National Security CCNS or C2NS, previously known as the Defence Committee of Cabinet, is the principal federal institution and consultative forum used by the people elected Prime Minister of Pakistan for concerning matters of state's national security, geopolitical, geostrategic, and foreign policy matters with the Prime Minister's chief military advisors, senior government advisors and senior cabinet ministers, since its creation and inception under Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto in 1976. The primary functions under the CCNS's domain is to advise and assist the Prime Minister on issues involving the national security, threat of war, nuclear weapons politics, and challenges in geostrategic and foreign policies. The CCNS serves as the Prime Minister's principal decision making and consultative forum for co ordinating national security and geostrategic foreign policies among various government institutions and ministries. The CCNS is a counterpart of the National Security Councils of many other nations. History Inception and creation, 1976–1991 In 1969, the concept of National Security Council was established by President Yahya Khan, but it was dominated by the military science circles of Pakistan, and it had controversial standing in the political science circles of Pakistan. The NSC under Yahya Khan was marked with controversial image in the Pakistan's civil society and it was repeatedly blamed for its constant interference in state's internal policies and political involvement. The NSC secretariat did not figure in the decision-making of the military government because President Yahya Khan ran his government administration as personalized enterprise relaying heavily on his close and trusted military and bureaucratic advisors. The NSC Secretariat under Yahya Khan was only a paper organization, as an aftermath of disastrous conflict with India which led the succession of East Pakistan. The Hamudur Rahman Commission led by Chief Justice Hamudur Rahman pointed the brutal failure and breakdown of civil-military relations between the Pakistan military in East Pakistan and political science sphere of Pakistan. Proponents of the reform realized that, no institutional means for the coordination of foreign and defense policy existed and that the informal management techniques employed by President Yahya Khan and Prime Minister Nurul Amin during the during 1971 Winter War were not suitable for the long haul. Ever since, the calls were made by country's influential sphere to create the National Security Council. The origins of the Cabinet Committee on National Security date back to Prime Minister of Pakistan, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto in May 1976, after the state parliament strongly rejected the Pakistan military's proposal of establishing the National Security Council. Ultimately, Prime Minister Bhutto published the White Paper on Higher Defense Organizations HDO, which outlined the institutional arrangements for dealing with defense and national security affairs. With establishing the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee led by its chairman, the DCC was established with the ultimate mandate and responsibility rested with the civilian Prime Minister and contained other government institutions involved in the decision-making on security and national security affairs. The CCNS repeatedly advised Prime Minister Bhutto on various occasions on issues involving the geostrategic affairs, national security assessments, and internal political situation in the country. In 1976, the DCC held its first meeting chaired by Prime Minister Zulfikar Bhutto with his senior military officials and strategists where he hold talks of possible war with Afghanistan, due to persistent aggressive acts by Afghanistan. Bhutto and Dodd made an exchange of official visit to force Afghanistan to accept the Durand Line as the permanent border. It was the first time that the DCC approved its first policy on foreign affairs and Western experts viewed Bhutto's policy as astute policy in regards to the border question clearly increased pressure of the Afghanistan and very likely helped stimulate Afghan government's move towards accommodation. In 1985, the DCC was controversially replaced by the newly formed but highly controversial National Security Council and continued its functions until 1993 when the NSC was dissolved by Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto in 1993. DCC reorganizations and expansion, 1991–1999 In 
In 1994, the DCC was again operationalized and had conducted fewer meetings between the Prime Minister and Prime Minister's chief military advisors. In January 1997, President Farouk Leghari and Prime Minister Miraj Khalid reorganized the DCC Council and established its operational parameter, more into public policy and nuclear weapons politics matters. The new people elected Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif approved the new DCC policy and integrated the DCC with Economic Coordination Committee ECC. Its parametric responsibilities included to provide comprehensive advice to federal cabinet on formulation of defense policy, its coordination with external and domestic policies and other matters with implications for security and stability. Since India's second nuclear tests, Pokhran II in 1998, the nuclear weapons politics, nuclear restraints, and nuclear weapons exercise, has been integrated in the operational mandate of DCC Council. The DCC Council provided a meaningful and mutual environment of understanding of national security issues between the Pakistan Armed Forces and the civilian institutions. In May 1998, the repeated and emergency meetings of DCC provided a great environment of its performance when Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif ordered Pakistan's first public nuclear tests, Chagai I which was followed by Chagai II, after the DCC Council conveyed various civil military sessions with the Prime Minister and the military leadership, decision making in matters of defence is to be a coordinated effort by the DCC Council between the civil and the military elements in Pakistan. The DCC provides comprehensive consultative and unified point of view of military and people elected civilian sphere in the decision making in Pakistan on issues involving the foreign policy, military policies in the war on terror, nuclear weapons development and operational development. Through the DCC Council, the military has a permanent and influential seat at the cabinet level meetings and chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee served DCC Council's principal and chief military advisor to advise the civilian prime minister on military spectrum and provide the military point of view on the important national issues. Topic: <laughs> Structure of the Cabinet Committee on National Security. Topic. Developments and meetings, 2008–present The CCNS is not restricted to the key cabinet ministers, and any cabinet ministers can also attend the meeting. The CCNS reaffirms the permanent seat for the military leaders of joint forces at the cabinet-level meeting. According to the reports of Pakistan Institute of Legislative Development and Transparency published in March 2012 shows that DCC meetings were held nine times from April 2008 until March 2008. These civic military meetings were reactive in nature and were held in response to an emergency issue or crises. The CCNS known as the DCC before August 2013 replaced the controversial National Security Council NSC and its first meeting took place on the 8th of December 2008 under the chairmanship of Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Jalani to discuss the security situation and to authorize nuclear force option to deter Indian pressure after the Mumbai attacks in 2008. Since then, the CCNS has acquired more salience than it was ever in the past decades. Since 2008, the role of Defense Cabinet Committee, Parliament and its committees has increased. The military science circles is more forthcoming in giving briefings on national security issues to the Parliament and high-ranking civilians than it was in General Musharraf's period. Topic: <laughs> Parliament access and committees. Standing Committee on Defence and Defence Production Parliamentary Standing Committee on National Security Standing Committee on Defence Public Accounts Committee Government sources <laughs> 